Purdue University culminated Green Week 2008 with The Trash, The Wabash. The event brought nearly 800 volunteers to the shores of Indiana's famous river to remove more than two tons of man-made pollution, ranging from cigarette butts to old bicycles. Students were able to put their hands to work on a concept that was driven home each day of the week. People can and should help preserve and improve the environment. You know, I have my roommates that aren't so much about you know recycling, but I think even just having it, other people, just a small number, is making a change. Because you know, you think about it when you know you have a can, you're like, well, I could either just throw this in the trash, throw it, you know, on the ground, or I could put it in a recycling bin. It's really easy, and I just feel like there's a movement being made towards being more green and eco-friendly. The week included an alternative transportation challenge that encouraged students to walk, bike, carpool or use public transportation as often as possible. President France Cordova led the way by bicycling from her home at Westwood to her office at Hubby Hall. Housing and Food Services and its nearly 12,000 residents led the way much of the week. Thousands of on-the-go diners were issued green-themed, recycled, reusable tote bags. Diners with reusable drink bottles were allowed to fill up for free. To save water and energy, diners were encouraged to use fewer plates and residents were encouraged to limit themselves to three-minute power showers. A recycling competition saw winning Earhart Hall recycle 1,800 pounds of paper in a single day. Uh, we certainly are the university's largest consumer when it comes to energy and water, uh, but we also have the potential for being the largest recycler and uh, sustainable customer here on campus. Discovery Park's Energy, Environment and Climate Change Research Centers co-sponsored a poster competition that highlighted the best in green research and practices at Purdue. Physical facilities won a cash prize for its energy stewardship programs that include monitoring energy use in buildings, building LEED certified buildings, retrofitting old buildings to make them more efficient, installing more efficient lighting campus-wide, and combining heat and power generation. The most important step in any campus is to start the conversation campus-wide about issues related to environment, to energy, to just general sustainability issues, and to start talking not only amongst the administration but with the faculty, students, and staff about how the university wants to position itself with all of these issues. And once those conversations get going, we have a much better sense of where we are and where we can go, and then we start to move together towards solutions. During Green Week, Purdue decreased its use of resources and increased its recycling. But the long-term goal and effect is increased awareness of reduce, reuse, and recycle. When you start hearing about people talking about there are these problems, um, you kind of have like that personal connection with it. So I think that that's great. And it's more about, it is more about making people think about it and um, just kind of getting it at the, at the front of people's heads. So I think... I think that, that, that this, has, this week has done that. At Purdue University, I'm Jim Shank.